Hi guys, Sweet Cheeks here, and it's paranormal vlog time. Can you see Spooky up there? Huh? He's there. I don't know if you can see him. Okay, so, <coughs> I'm out of tea, so I'm a little, my cat just grabbed me. Anyways, I'm out of my tea, so I'm a little annoyed right now because my throat is sort of dry and I made myself coffee. Not really helping with that matter. But, I'll get through this. Um, my camera battery is saying it's low, even though it's been on the charger for like two hours or, no, more than that, probably like three or four. So hopefully this will record the whole time and I won't get cut off or whatnot. But, I'm going to talk about when I went to the graveyard the other day. Well, a few weeks ago now. <coughs> but, what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk, and I'll probably, like, slideshow over my face some photos. Um, yeah, hopefully, fingers crossed, I can get this editing to work so it works right. Either that, or you can get a video of me sort of staring at my laptop as I tell you about the pictures I took. We'll see how this works. Okay. And if I keep doing, if you see me do this, it's because I'm checking to make sure the light's still on, okay? Not because I'm crazy or something. Well, I may be crazy. Um, anyway, so, a little backstory on, okay, I don't know how to, okay, um, a little backstory on me and my friends going to the cemetery, well, graveyard, whatever, um, back in, like, 2008, I was 18, and I had just, that was that summer I just graduated high school, and me and my friends, you know, being our, we're adults now, hung out, like, constantly, like, all night type of thing. And one night we decided, let's go to the cemetery, because that sounds like it's the best idea. It was, like, midnight, and we headed out, and the cemetery, um, I'll sort of cover that after I go through this, I guess. Like, um, cemetery, like, some information I got on the cemetery, Anyways, um, it's out in the country, and there's not really a lot of street lights in the area or whatnot, so it's pretty dark. Anyways, we went to the cemetery a few times during the summer, and one time we didn't have the ball to get out of the car, another time we did, we took some photos, um, and caught some stuff in the photos, we saw shadow people, um, we've had just, like, the feelings, like, not, like, being, t not actually being touched or anything, but, like, that sort of psychic feeling, I guess, where you can, like, sense something there. Um, we've had things follow us back, like, you know, look out the back window or the rear view mirror and you literally see something following us. There were times we weren't even actually going to the cemetery and we'd see things. Um, so, yeah, it was a creepy summer. And they were over, like, last week and... Well, a few weeks ago. Anyways. Um, and my husband's only gone with us to the cemetery, like, maybe one other time. And we were telling, you know, talking to our friends about how we had bought, like, the voice recorder. Which, by the way, I don't have the information on my computer. And hubby's computer's been acting up, so I don't have EVP stuff. So maybe I'll do a bonus video, like, later this coming week. And just have, like, the EVP stuff in there. Um, anyways. So we decided, um, we'd take the camera and the voice recorder and we'd go to the cemetery. So that night, we went out there and the whole, whole time, I had like a bad feeling like we were being watched and everything. It was, it was horrible. Oh, by the way, I think I'm going to go ahead and just like slideshow some photos from the night above my face, over my face as I talk. And then I'll actually show you like the photo I caught, um, the photos we caught, like, in a minute after I talk. Okay, anyways, enjoy the slideshow. Um, I had a feeling, like, as soon as we got there that, like, we were being watched and I could just feel like something was pacing the, like, curve of the cemetery because this cemetery sits on a road that sort of curves around it. Um, so there's a, you come in the cemetery and there's, like, a curve. And, uh, um, you'll get a better idea. I'll show you a photo of, like, a sky view photo of it in a minute. But anyways, um, we're sitting here, 
got in the cemetery just sort of sitting there in the car not really brave enough to get out well um my friend's hubby starts taking like trying to take pictures from the car not really working very well so we all decide like the two guys decide they're gonna get out and walk around anyway so me and the me and my friend decide okay well we might as well get out of the car too and you know get out of the car I'm still not feeling good like I'm definitely not walking to that front corner where I feel like there's something walking but we end up you know sort of walking around a little bit and the cemetery is laid out weird so I couldn't really see like if I was walking on dead people other than running into a <sighs> grave marker headstone whatever they're called and <laughs> So, we started walking off the path a little bit, but I just stopped and turned around and went back to the path. I was like, I'm not walking on top of dead people. I already feel out uneasy. I'm not doing it type of thing. So, um, my friends just sort of mess around. They pass the camera back and forth, taking photos and stuff. We caught a lot. Um, not really anything eventful. We were there. Didn't really hear anything. Didn't really see anything. Um, my friend heard some noises coming from the trees. I don't think she saw anything in the trees. Um... But yeah, I mean, the ominous feeling I had the whole time didn't really subside. So eventually we end up coming home and start reviewing the footage. Um, well, the pictures and the EVP that we, you know. Um, Hubby was going through, like, the voice recorder. He found some EVPs and stuff. But me and my friends were mainly looking at the camera and he would hand us, like, headphones, you know. So anyways, um... I'm assuming you're looking back at my face now because I don't think I have enough photos and it would have been a really long time if you just stared at those the whole time. Um, anyway, so we are back and we're going through the photos and we got a lot of, like, light anomalies. I'm assuming basically for the point that it was nighttime, so for the camera to get a good photo, you know, the whatever the technical terms are, you know, the lens has to stay open longer to absorb more light type of thing to process a better photo. And, um, so there's a lot of light anomalies, probably just from the slight shaking of, you know, whoever had the cameras. So, a lot of photos I did, like, lit throughout type of thing. Um, and then I think our eyes were playing tricks on us because we saw some photos we thought things were in it. But later when I reviewed it, there was nothing or I didn't see it anymore type of thing. Um, like, back in the tree line, we thought we saw, like, shadows. But to me... I just think it was probably our eyes playing tricks on us because I don't like glancing over them again. It's not popping out this time. But the photo I did catch for you guys, which I'll throw over my face now. Um, yeah, caught a ghost. Can you guys find it? Did you find it? Did you find it? Alright, next photo. This one I circled it for you. Um, so can you make out the ghost? Can ya? Okay, next photo. Um, I actually went through and put head and arm, legs, and feet. I don't know if you guys see it. I see it. They all saw it. And it's right in that area where I felt like someone was walking and I was just being stared at the whole time. So I feel validated. I'm not crazy. I told y'all I'm not crazy. Um, anyways, here's an, like two other photos. I think I have two. Um, of the, like, that same night, sort of, I mean, they're different angles and whatever, but it's the same general area. Um, you guys can see that he's, like, there's nothing there to, like, sort of cause that shape. And this one is from the next day when I went out. I couldn't remember exactly where I saw the ghost. So, well, what we called this a ghost, because I never saw him with my own eyes when we were there that night. But it's a sort of the same area. You can sort of see that there's nowhere he would, like, that nothing that would cause that shape, if you understand what I'm saying. Um, okay, when we were there that night, when we caught this photo, and we didn't know what it was, because it had been a while since either of us had been, any of us had been this blah, 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 blah. It had been a while since any of us had been to the cemetery. So when we looked at this photo, we're like, what is that? Like, why? I don't get it. Why is that their type of thing? 
Um, and here's another shot of it. Um, yeah, didn't know what it was. Some of we thought it was like a little skull or like a fair or something is what we saw. Um, here's the first view and I sort of circled it so if you guys didn't like pop, it didn't pop out at you, now you sort of see it. And here's the second one showing the same thing. I've got it, you know, circled so y'all can pop out better at you. Well, when we went back to the cemetery the next day, we, I took some photos of that area and figured out what it was. And it is this. I think it has to do with the, it, I believe, has something to do with like the Freemasons. Um, it has something, it says OES, like on the little banner part of it. And it's actually an organization, and I'll talk about it more in a moment. Um, but yeah, so that's what that was. And that's my thing, investigating at night, you never really know what's going on because of the point that your eyes play tricks on you. You know, um, so it was a good thing we went back, to, me and my hubby had went back the next day and looked over things. 